How to make an impactful PowerPoint deck? Let's discuss in today's video. Hi everyone, welcome to Insider Gyan. My name is Somi. I'm an IT Delhi and ISP Hyderabad grad. And this channel, I share my experiences, share career related, educational videos, business related. So, if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. I have actually been a management consultant for almost eight years now. And as you might be knowing, PowerPoint text is our bread and butter. Hota hai. Every day we are just creating and working and you know putting things on PowerPoint decks. So in this video, I'm going to share my top learnings on how you can make an impactful presentation using a few key steps that I always follow. Step number one, before putting anything on a slide, I want you to take a step back and think through ki aap kya batana chahte ho. What are the key messages that you want to cover in that PowerPoint deck? Structure it structure your thoughts, maybe make some notes on a piece of paper or on a word doc. This process ko hum storyboarding bolte hai. That what are the key messages we want to convey and in what order. So just to give you an example, agar aap client ke liye presentation bana rahe ho, to sabse pehle aap shayad bataoge unhe ki what is the objective of the meeting or the, the entire presentation. Second, you are going to maybe talk a little bit about the approach. Us objective ko achieve karne ke liye aapne kya approach liya hai. And lastly, you are going to likely present the output or the findings now the finding section is obviously can be very huge and it is going to be a deck of its own so usko bhi aapko structure karna padega ki kaun si finding kiske baad aana chahiye so that it's a powerful and an easy to follow through story once you have done this entire thinking through and storyboarding in your head that is when you start putting things actually on a slide so step number two, the first thing that you do is on every slide, update the title, okay? And the title needs to be a message. It doesn't have to be like an introduction or output or approach. Vaise titles ki baat nahi kar rahi main. Jab bhi tum koi PowerPoint deck banao, your title needs to be a summary of whatever is there in the rest of the page. So, har ek slide mein, aap, aapne jo pehle story banai thi, har ek jo key message hai, key insight hai, wo ek slide ke baad, ek slide ke baad, ek slide ke baad, aap daalte jau. And that is going to be your first like skeleton, the entire story storyboarded deck is now ready in front of you. Uske baad hi aap content, jo title ke niche ka, jo main content hai, wo dalna shuru karoge. So for example, instead of customer research output, your title actually needs to be during customer research, we found that customers have a very strong preference for digital modes of payment. Just an example. Point number three to note is that it is very, very important to put only one message in one slide. Otherwise, it's going to be overcomplicated. It's not going to be easy for people to follow through. That is why just step number two hai, Hana, wo karna zaruri hai. So that har slide ke upar tum ek hi message dal pao and everything else on the page needs to be just what is supporting that summary. Step four is actually filling in each slide. So is time pe aap kya karoge? Sabse pehle to aap dekhoge, har ek slide uthaoge, dekhoge ki uska summary kya hai. And then you will try to find all the supporting insights or data or whatever you have which is related to that, which is going to be included in that summary and then somehow structure it in the rest of the page. So just to give you an example, if your title, as I said before, customer research, you have found that customers have a very strong preference for digital modes of payment. So what can supporting data? Kya ho sakta hai? You can probably put in a chart which shows how many customers prefer different modes of payment. Maybe 53% people prefer credit cards, 40% people prefer e-wallets, and only 10% people prefer cash. So if you put the chart, that's a very strong signal that, okay, people do prefer digital modes of payment like credit cards and e-wallets. They don't prefer to pay cash anymore. If you have any small data points, hai, ya kuch um, supporting cheeze hai, usko bhi aap isi page mein dalogay before moving on to the next step. Now in the next few steps, I'm going to cover a few points which you should keep in mind when filling in the slides. So point number five is that you choose a consistent color palette. You know, if in a whole deck, we have different page, mein different 
तरह के ब्राइट ब्राइट डार्क आई कैचिंग कलर्स यूज कर रखे है देन द होल थिंग डजेंट लुक वेरी कोहरेंट इट डजेंट सीम लाइक these are all pages from the same tech which is why it's so important to follow one single color palette and usually at least consulting me and a lot of other people do this as well whoever you are like positioning the thing to like whoever is your client client ke logo ke jo colors hai client ka jo logo hai uske कलर्स को यूज करके आप एक कलर पैलेट बना सकते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर डूइंग अ प्रोजेक्ट फॉर एस बी आई स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया देर लोगो इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ब्लू एंड व्हाइट सो यू कैन कीप अवी ब्लू एंड व्हाइट थीम ऑन योर टेक विथ सम न्यूट्रल कलर्स मे बी लाइक व्हाइट ब्लैक ग्रे एट्सेट्रा एंड यू कैन यूज डिफरेंट शेड्स ऑफ ब्लू एज वेल पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स इज वेन एवर यू आर putting content think how you can make it more and more and more visual people are visual they understand things much more easily agar aapne koi ek picture draw kari hai bajaye ki aapne ek pura paragraph likh diya hai because powerpoints ka intention hi nahi hai ki tum cheeze padh sako okay powerpoint ka intention hai tum ki messages jaldi jaldi samajh sako so visuals are easy to understand they are fast to understand as well and it also helps you structure your thoughts in some specific way which is why if you have a lot of numbers then instead of making a table you will be highly encouraged to use some charts or some graphs another thing you can do to increase the visual appeal is use a lot of icons उससे ना क्या हो जाता है कि जो रीडर है उसका अटेंशन अगर आईकॉन में गया तो उसे समझ आ जाएगा कि वॉट इज द पॉइंट दैट यू आर अबाउट टू से एंड उसे समझ नहीं आया तो वो टेक्स्ट पढ़ के देखेगा कि क्या है अदरवाइज इफ यू जस्ट मैंशनिंग इट इन टेक्स्ट देन इट्स पॉसिबल दैट पीपल विल नॉट रीड इट थ्रू राइट जैसे कि आप बोलना चाह रहे हो कि द टॉप फाइव बैंक इन इंडिया आर एस बी आई एच डी एफ सी आई सी आई सी आई एट्सेट्रा सो वन वे फॉर यू इज टू जस्ट राइट डाउन आई सी आई सी आई एस बी आई एच डी एफ सी etc the other way for you is to copy paste the logo of the banks and put it on the slide then it becomes much more visual and it's just easy like jo psychologically jo reader hai usko lagta hai ki acha yaar ye sare cheeze maine padh liye without even reading it similarly there are icon libraries from where you can use icons for example if you have to say something like customers prefer digital modes of payment because of number one convenience number two a lot of promotions and discount and number 3 because they don't need to carry any change so isko aap do tarah se likh sakte ho one is this one is this so tell me which one looks better that is the power of icons point number 7 and probably needless to say is that don't use paragraphs paragraphs are a big no no kyunki paragraphs bahut cluttered hote hai easily samajh nahi aata hai kya aap bolna chahte ho and kisi ke paas time nahi hai ki powerpoint mein koi aapka pura paragraph padhne baithe if the intention is to read through the details then you will be asked to create a word document or a pdf file and not a powerpoint so don't use paragraphs if you have a lot to write you can break it down into different bullet points and highlight or bold make into bold some of the keywords agar jo reader hai wo pura bullet points bhi nahi pad raha hai uska attention jayega bold words ki taraf and he'll easily understand what you're trying to say similarly try to use as less words as possible even if it is in bullet points to make it punchy and just enough to convey the message that you want to say example man lo aapko bolna hai ki 40% of the customers think that because their cards get declined at different merchants they don't have a good customer experience isko ya to aap ye pura sentence likh sakte ho ya fir how you can put it in a few words is biggest issue faced by customers dot dot colon card decline bracket me 40% that's just like six words i think and you have conveyed the entire thing which if you had a sentence you would have used like 20 words point number 8 agar aapke paas ek slide mein bahut sare cheeze hai bolne ke liye hai if you think that the slide is becoming too cluttered then what you can do is you can put in some call out boxes and some highlights across the things which you want to really focus the reader's attention on jaise ki maan lijiye aapke paas ek table hai waise to table use karna is not a good idea but say for instance for some reason you have to put in a table okay of a lot of numbers एंड उसमें बस आपका जो मेन मैसेज है उस स्लाइड का वो ये है कि Q1 के जो रेवेन्यूज थे वो Q2 से ज्यादा थे सो so आप क्या करोगे यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू पुट अ रेड डॉटेड बॉक्स 
outside the revenues for Q1 and Q2 and maybe put a call out box and over there mention that the revenue for Q1 was greater than Q2. And what it means is you are telling the reader that there are a lot of things going on in this slide, but what you need to focus on is this specific message, nothing else matters. Number nine, good formatting makes a lot of difference. Okay, just to give you an example, table formatting. Again, let me put one over here and one over here and you see which one looks better. Similarly, for text boxes, when you put PPT in text boxes, make sure that they are aligned, that the same message, if there is a similar message, hai, to they are in the text boxes of same size and the sizes are not varying, the boxes are not floating around everywhere. They are aligned either top or right or left or bottom, whatever the case may be. And everything is very like consistent and coherent. Lastly, if you have made such a PPT, bana hi liya hai, the purpose is obviously to present it to a set of audience, right? So let me share one last tip on what is the best way to present. Of course, the biggest thing is not to read from the slides. The slides are meant to have only the key highlights, which is why they are punchy, they are visual, and they'll not have a lot of details. So so, these are the details that you have to prepare before so that you know them by heart beforehand. Or you make notes in a separate piece of paper or in the notes section of PowerPoint. You can put in those notes so that when you present it, you can use the details as reference. And you also don't need to cover everything that is there on a slide as well, okay? Whenever you are presenting, especially if you have time crunch or you are presenting to a senior set of people, just focus on the most important thing on the slide. Everything else people can just read through after the meeting or before the meeting. Also, preparation goes a long way. So I will definitely highly recommend to prepare, prepare, prepare and practice, practice, practice before you are actually presenting it verbally to another group. Those were my 10 tips for making an impactful PowerPoint presentation. Hope you found them helpful. If there are other questions hai regarding PowerPoints, please drop in the comments so that I know what you are struggling with and I can create relevant content as well. Baki to video ko like kar dena if you found it helpful and please subscribe for any reason if you haven't already. And yeah, I'm going to see you in the next one. Till then, bye.